I'm Christine Zarin, uh, and I'm the co-founder and director of the White Coats Foundation. Uh, I have a background in um, nursing, and I've worked in the healthcare industry for about 25 years. Um, I've, I've spent most of my career working in clinical trials research in various roles and capacities. So I've, I've worked as a clinical trial nurse coordinator. I've also managed a dermatology clinical trial unit. Um, the White Coats Foundation is a not-for-profit that has been established in recognition of the need to raise awareness about the role of clinical trials in advancing medical science and healthcare. Clinical trials provide the evidence base for healthcare practice and the medicines that we all consume and rely on. Uh, they are the only way that we can find out new ways to treat, prevent, screen, diagnose and manage um, disease. Today is International Clinical Trials Day and it is a day to um, recognise and acknowledge all the people that um, work towards uh, improving healthcare for all of us through clinical trials. So that includes our healthcare professionals, our scientists, our researchers, but very importantly, our patients. I think the uh, public are very familiar with the concept of donating money to medical research and everyone's very interested um, in learning about medical breakthroughs. But how do we go from lab bench to bedside? How do we translate these ideas in the lab um, to actual discoveries that translate into meaningful health impact for patients? Um, and it's the story in the middle that's missing. It's clinical trials. And clinical trials require the generous participation of um, clinical trial participants, either patients with medical conditions or healthy volunteers. Um, clinical trials are the only way that we can advance healthcare um, and medical science and deliver new and improved therapeutic interventions that have the potential to benefit any one of us. Patients and consumers can contribute to health and medical research in more ways than one. Um, obviously, volunteering to participate in a clinical trial is one way that they can be involved, but they can also um, contribute to things like protocol design and research prioritisation. There are increasing opportunities uh, for consumers and patients to be involved in this capacity. Health Consumers New South Wales and Research for Me ran a workshop in 2017 um, that explored the, the role of involving consumers in health and medical research. They looked at the barriers and the enablers. And um, I distinctly remember uh, a quote when reading the report that they produced after that workshop, a quote that resonated with me where one of the consumers actually said that experience treating patients isn't the same as the patient experience. Um, and so I think it's really important that it is, particularly as healthcare professionals, sometimes we may have been treating a particular patient group for a long period of time and think that we understand um, their needs and what it's like to live with a particular condition. Um, but the consumers know best, the patients know best. And I think it's really important that we start to incorporate their voice um, moving forward into medical research that, so that we start designing protocols that uh, delivering on endpoints that are relevant to them um, and that are answering questions that are important to them. It's very difficult to learn about current clinical trial opportunities. Um, we do have the public registers, so things like the ANZCTR and clinicaltrials.gov, which do provide access to information about currently recruiting trial opportunities. Um, they can be a little bit cumbersome and difficult to navigate. Not all patients and consumers are aware that they exist. Um, and the, the information is not always kept up to date and sometimes it can be difficult to access current site contact information. Um, but those are avenues that people uh, can explore. There's also the Australian Clinical Trials um, government website that um, provides or has a search portal where people can learn about new trial opportunities. And of course, um, ClinTrial Refer, uh, I work as the business development manager for ClinTrial Refer. They have a mobile app and website platform where people can access current clinical trial information um, across various disciplines. And uh, the app also actually provides direct access to site contact and location information, which is really important to um, enab enabling immediate follow-up of potentially relevant opportunities.